So let's work on displaying the avatar data in the table. So just like we did for the actions, we can implement um, this feature in the same way. So let's go to the students table. And by the way, I think I didn't zoom in in the previous video. So that might have troubled you a bit. So I have fixed that uh, from this video onwards. So here we have, we are passing the actions and then rendering uh, these actions in the bleed file so we are going to use the same approach and instead of actions let's call it avatar and we are also going to disable the export so that uh, uh, we don't include that in the excel file or whatever format you're using so this is done and let's go to the index.blade inside students actions so just like we have the actions we can also display the avatar so instead of actions it's going to be avatar and we also want the student record and instead of all of these what i want to do is i want to display a simple image data and i think we can use this so source is going to be student avatar but not student avatar actually but asset and then student avatar because now it's going to point to the public folder and then create a relative path for this all this is going to be student name that's fine w10 s10 and round it full it also looks good so we need to link the storage path and let's go ahead and test uh, check whether we have the images in here app public avatars okay we have those images so that looks good and let's run the storage link command so that it creates a sim link to our public folder from the storage folder the storage of what ours and we have that so let's go ahead and test this thing out let's click on reload okay we don't see that avatar let's see what error we have in here okay maybe because these records uh, any of these records don't have any avatar so we should implement a check in here so let's wrap this inside uh, an if tag so if we have the student avatar value only then we want to render its image tag so now only the images that are available for that student are going to be displayed and what i also want to do is i want to display this avatar inside okay we don't have that right okay i think we should implement that from the table class itself so i don't want to display this at the end but somewhere in here so after phone number so let's reload this and we have an avatar for the recently created record and still okay it got rendered in here so this one has some value but the image path is not correct for this but this one has image and the path is also correct so this is being displayed so in rendering the avatar is now working and let's also implement the edit functionality so i want to display the currently uh, available avatar for this record on the edit page as well so let's look into that okay so let's start by rendering that split component first so that's inside create.blade and i am guessing that it would work by default because our avatar is okay maybe it won't work because we also need to pass that asset function so let's go ahead and that is up after this plate select so let's pass that and so let's go ahead and check this thing and maybe we need to fix some issues in here okay this thing is working by default so that's really impressive because i implemented this earlier uh, while i was trying a uh, splayed i had to make some uh, fixes to display this thing but this thing is working and is displayed by default so i'm really impressed and one more thing that i forgot to mention here is about the update part actually i only work on displaying the image in the edit page but we didn't work on the update part so i'll just give you an overview about how we can work on that so we already did the create part so we already have that name attribute and if we have the image then we can update we can uh, 
perform the update part so what we can do here is just like with the store part we can grab this code and along with this so inside an if condition what we can do is if we have that file so if request has filed this avatar okay this avatar then we can execute this code and then for the name okay not for the name but we can update the avatar if we have the file so you can definitely implement that yourself so just wanted to give, uh, give you an idea about how we can work on that and since uh, i'm guessing that you, you are already familiar with laravel so you are also familiar with the edit and update part for the files so that should be simple and okay that's it that's all i wanted to say so i think we are quite done for this series there uh, might be a few issues here and there so let's see i am thinking of creating a new series about working with rules and permissions in splate so i'll probably use this project as a starting point and then move along from there so that's it for this part and if there are any issues to be fixed then i'll fix them in the upcoming series that i that i'll be recording um by continuing from this project so that's it for this series and i'll see you guys in the next one